Are you insecure about your body? Too scared to take your shirt off during PE class? Don't worry, I was the same kid too. However, after over two years in the gym, I've been able to completely transform my body. And the crazy thing is, it's incredibly simple. Wanna do the same thing? Good, because today I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to become jacked as a teenager. The first step towards getting jacked is your beliefs and your mindset. Now hold on, I'm gonna get to the actual practical advice in a minute, but this is very important. Proverbs 23 7 as a man think it in his heart so is he I remember when I first started working out I thought everything was genetic I was always skinny and had a fast metabolism so it must be impossible for me to gain weight this belief that I wasn't possible gave me an excuse to fall back on but I'm an ectomorph and I'm supposed to stay skinny I wasn't designed to build muscle Age, wah, wah. I read about excuses aren't gonna get you big biceps so stop moaning, have some faith, and be prepared to put the work in. Also, don't expect any overnight success. That's not how the gym works. There's no magical workout that's going to turn you into Chris Bumstead after 24 hours. You need to be patient on this journey, bro. Trust me. All right, now it's time for the practical advice that I did to go from this to this. Make sure to pay close attention. Get out of the comment section right now. Stop looking at other suggested video. I just want pure and utter focus for the next few minutes. If at any point you need a pause to take notes, go ahead. Or if you need to move because your brother's raging on Fortnite and you can't focus, make sure to get that done now. Firstly, what should your spit look like? Most generic advice online is gonna tell you as a beginner to go two to three times a week, to do full body workouts and to do four sets of 12 reps every time. Which yeah, can work if your dream physique is to look like Baymax. If you wanna be serious about your fitness journey, then I'm recommending you go minimum four times a week and I do six as a maximum. So now that that's sorted, you need to know what workout split you're actually gonna do. In my opinion, as someone who's tried and failed basically every workout split out there, I believe there's only three options. There's push-pull legs, Arnold split, or a hybrid of the two of them. And the reason why these are the best workout splits is because you get adequate volume for every single muscle group, which other splits just can't offer. And I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what exercises to do, because I believe when designing a workout routine, there has to be somewhat of a personal aspect to it. You want your own routine to be optimized perfectly for yourself. So I want you to design your own workout routine either right now or after the video. And if any of you are lacking inspiration, I'll leave my own personal workout routine up on screen now. Another general rule of thumb in the gym is you should never ever do four sets of 12 reps. You need to move away from prioritizing volume and instead start prioritizing intensity. Because if all that mattered was the number of reps that you did, then all the big bodybuilders would be doing thousands of reps with one kilo dumbbells. Yet they don't. That's why I encountered the most success on my fitness journey when I started training to failure. You got all that so far? Good, because we're only touching the tip of the iceberg here. Next, what I wanna to talk to you guys about is consistency and discipline. Because it's all well and good me saying all this stuff. Oh, you should go to the gym five times a week. You should train hard, you should train to failure. That's fine, but just because you know you should do it, doesn't mean you're actually gonna do it. So here's a test right now to see what kind of person you are. I want you to drop down and give me 20 push-ups right now. It doesn't matter how you get them done, as long as you get them done. And I can guarantee you right now, if you just did those push-ups, you're gonna be successful in your fitness journey. Trust me. Another way to become more consistent and disciplined, because I'm not always going to be here to scream at you to do push-ups is to start forcing yourself to go to the gym now what do i mean by this well since the majority of you are probably in school and let's be honest when you get home you're not going to feel like going gym what i want you to start doing is to pack your gym bag the night before that way you'll be reminded the entire day what you're supposed to do and there's no excuse for skipping the gym another great way to stay consistent and disciplined is by taking progress pictures after every single workout the reason why this is important is because sometimes we feel like we're not moving at all we feel like we've stayed in the exact same position and you might look around as some of your friends or just other people in the gym and feel like your progress can't compare to theirs at all that's why it's important you're fully aware of your starting point at all times so whenever you feel like you haven't moved at all you can reflect on that look at an old picture feel motivated and accomplished by how much you've improved already a bad starting point only means you'll feel better when you achieve that dream physique your future self will thank you for this believe me now it's time for diet as i'm sure you all know the average person's diet nowadays is absolutely trash in fact the average american's diet scored in a 11 out of 100 in the dietary quality index which means most if not all of you guys watching this video right now could do with some work on your diet now in the fitness community there's a common belief that you can eat whatever you want as long as it fits your macros and this is true well kind of if your goal is to only build muscle and you don't care about health or anything else then yeah you can't eat whatever you want as long as it fits your macros i mean for example just look at people like sam sulek that fella lives off chocolate milk and he's still incredibly jacked 
However, obviously that diet is not optimal. So you may be wondering, what's the solution? Well, in my opinion, I believe 90% of teenagers should be lean bulking. Let me explain why. As a teenager, you're naturally gonna need more calories as your body's going through a lot of change very quickly. And not getting enough calories in during puberty can actually delay puberty in adolescence. That's why personally speaking, I'd only cut in extreme situations. And I'd also make the cuts minimal around 200 to 300 calories below your maintenance. Since lean bulking is gonna be the answer for most of you guys, watching this video here's some foods that are gonna make your bulking process so easy you're gonna feel like you're on gear eggs milk peanut butter any form of nuts red meats oats rice pasta sausages rashers sandwiches protein powder also as a quick heads up do not ever use mass gainer it's empty calories and you'd be much better off adding real food to your own protein shakes sleep is also very important for optimizing gains but to be honest with you bro there's so much scientific nerdy stuff there that, that could be an entirely different video itself if you'd be interested in seeing a video on how to optimize your sleep make sure to leave a comment below but for some general bro science just make sure to sleep at least eight to ten hours a night have a set time for going to bed and waking up every single day and track your progress on the sleep cycle app this video could be the start of a massive change in your life and has the potential to turn you into a completely different person but now it's all up to you it will only happen if you're prepared to put the work in